Hey kids, it's me, Teacher A. So this is another requested video, okay? So in this video, we're going to find the measures of arcs and angles, okay? Are you ready? Okay, let's start. So this is the figure, okay? And we have um, given measures here, okay? So measure of angle LAM is 42 degrees. Where is that? Um, L-A-M. So this measures 42 degrees, okay? What else? Um, Measure of angle HAG is equal to 30 degrees. So where is that? Um, HAG. Okay. This one measures 30 degrees. Okay. Lastly, um, angle KAH is a right angle. So KAH, that measures 90 degrees degrees. So, ito yung magsisignify na 90 degrees siya. Yung merong square dito sa corner. Okay? So, that measures 90 degrees. This video is a little bit different because I'm not going to give you the numerical answer. I'm just going to guide you. Okay? If you like, you may key in your numerical answers in the comment section below and let me check them for you. Okay? Okay, let's start. So, number one, we're asked to get the measure of angle LAK. Where is that? L A K. So, do you see it? We 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 were asked to get the measure of this angle. Okay, so para mas makita nyo, you may want to cover this. Okay, kita nyo? you have a semicircle, and you know that a semicircle measures 180 degrees, right? So from here up to this point, 180 degrees, yan, right? But you know the measure of this angle, right? The angle K A H, diba? Ito, you know. Angle KAH is a right angle. So, this one measures 90 degrees. So, kung 90 degrees ito, gaano kalaki ito? Anong measure ni angle LAK? Okay? So, I'm not going to write the answer here. Okay? Okay, let's move on to the second number. Let's find the measure of angle J, A, K. Where is that? J, A, K. So this angle. We want to get that angle. Okay? So, para mas makita nyo, i-cover ko ito. That one. Okay? Do you see a semicircle again? A half circle at yung half circle measures 180 degrees okay so kung hinahanap nyo to di ba alam nyo na to this is 42 degrees since it's given okay so you have 42 degrees tapos kanina hinanap nyo na ang measure na ito right the measure of angle l a k ito siya oh okay so Kung ang total niyan ay 180 degrees, and then you know this, and you already know this, madali nang mahanap ito. Right? It's equal to 180 degrees minus 42 degrees minus the angle measure of this. Okay? That's how you find the value of, or the angle measure of this angle, J, A, K. What about the measure of angle L, A, J? Nasaan yon? L, A, 
j okay so you're looking for the measure of this angle okay so basically you add the measures of angle l a k and angle k a j okay so parang i-add nyo lang yung number one at number two okay from this figure okay because the measure of angle l a j is equal to the measure of angle l a k plus the measure of angle j a k so we add nyo lang talaga yung numbers one and two okay Okay, so I hope I can find answers in the comment section below. Alright? Okay, let's continue. What about the measure of angle H-A-M? Where is the angle H-A-M? So here, H-A-M. Okay, you see it? So we're looking for the measure of this angle. That one. So, let me give you the numerical answer for number 4. Okay? So, we're looking for this angle. Okay? So, nakikita nyo ba? Meron ulit kayong semicircle. Let's consider this semicircle. Ito. This one. The lower semicircle. Okay? This measures 30 degrees. This one. You know that this measures 42 degrees okay kasi vertical angle sila okay okay so since this whole thing this half of a circle measures 180 and you already have 42 and 30 degrees so ilan na lang ang kulang para mabuo yung 180 degrees ilan you only need 108 degrees. If you add this 3, 42 plus 30 plus 108, you will get 180 degrees. Alright? So the answer here is 108 degrees. Here, it's written the measure of arc KAM. But there's no arc K A M, diba? Walang R K A M. So I think this one should be um, find the measure of angle K A M. Yeah? You think so? Kasi ito all K A M. So we're going to look for this angle. Let's use color orange now. Okay. That one. So K. A M Okay? So, to find the measure of this angle, it is simply the sum of the measures of the angle K A L Okay? And L A M Okay? So, madali lang yan. Alright? So, let me write. The measure of angle K A M is equal to the measure of angle K A L or pedring L A K. Ito oh, si number one. Okay? So let me write L A K. So kukunin nyo lang yung sagot sa number one. Plus the measure of angle L A M, which is given. Right? It is equal to. 42 degrees. Okay? So, this must be easy. Okay. So, for the last three numbers, we're going to look for the measures of arcs. Okay? This one, or these numbers are easy kasi lahat ng arcs na involved dito ay intercepted lamang ng mga central angles. Okay? Kasi lahat ng angles na makikita nyo dito, ang vertex lie at the center of the circle. And what do we know about the relationship of a central angle and its intercepted arc? Their measures are 
equal. Okay? So, if we want to measure, for example, the arc KLM, so where is that? K um, L M. Okay? So, this arc. Okay? So, this is just equal to the measure of angle K A M. Kasi ito yung angle na nag intercept sa arc na ito. Okay? That's it. So, kung anong sagot nyo sa number 5, eto, yun na rin yung sagot nyo sa number 6. Okay? Kasi siya ang nag intercept sa arc K L M. Alright? Now, let's continue. What about arc L G H? Where is that? Um, L Okay. G H. So, hanggang dyan. Okay? So, actually, from the figure, we can easily get the answer. The measure of arc LGH is equal to the sum of the angles here. 42, 108, 30. Right? Okay, let me write. So, that's equal to... Um, 42 degrees plus 108 degrees plus 30 degrees. Okay? Well, actually, if you check, um, this arc L, G, H is a semicircle. Right? Kalahati ng circle. So, dapat 180 degrees ang magiging sagot dito. Which is, tama naman. Okay? The answer is equal to 180 degrees. Alright? Okay. Last arc. Where is the arc LMK? Um, L. Medyo mahaba to, no? L. Let me stitch it. L. Okay, M. Up to K. Here. Haba. Okay? Hanggang dyan. So, L, M, K. So, all you have to do is to add all the angles from this point up to this point. Okay? Add nyo lang lahat yan and then you will get the answer here. Okay, let's try more. Okay? So, we have here a quadrilateral. Yeah? four-sided polygon which is inscribed in a circle. Right? And then, we're given the measure of this angle is 78 degrees, the angle SMI. Okay? And then, the angle MSL measures 95 degrees. Okay? Here. Okay, now, we're asked to find the measure of the angle MIL. Where is that? M-I-L. Here. Well, actually, I think you don't need this information. Okay? All you have to do is to recall the theorem. If a quadrilateral is inscribed in a circle, then their opposite angles are supplementary angles. So, what do you mean by supplementary? Their sum is equal to 180 degrees. Okay? So, dapat pag pinag-add ko tong dalawang to, 180 degrees ang sagot. O, meron ka ng 95. Anong i-add ko sa 95 to get 180 degrees? Should be 85 degrees. Right? 85 plus 95 equals... 180 degrees. So, that is the measure of this angle here. Ganun lang. So, you don't really need this um, information. Okay. So, this is the last example. Okay. This is the last exercise. Okay. We are asked to find the measure of angle. So, let me write. Find the measure of angle X, P, Y. Okay. So, where is that? Here. That angle. Okay? If you're given um, the measure of this arc, XY, is equal to 
50 degrees and the measure of this arc is equal to 30 degrees okay if you notice this is an angle formed by two secants right at ang intersection nila nasa labas ng circle so all you have to do is to recall the formula okay so what is the formula to get the measure of the angle formed outside the circle it is formed by two secants so let me write the formula here it is equal to one half times the difference of the measures of the intercepted arc so you begin with um the larger arc so that will be the measure of arc xy ito muna mas malaki okay minus the measure of the smaller arc which is this one mn okay and then all you have to do is to substitute okay so you'll have one half times the measure of arc xy is 150 degrees minus the measure of arc mn is equal to 30 degrees and then you do the math 150 degrees minus 30 degrees you'll get 120 degrees divided by 2 so you will get 60 degrees all right okay so i think that's it don't forget to comment your answers in the comment section below okay and i'm going to check them for you all right okay so i hope you learned something from this video please like and share this video thank you for watching see you in my next video